My name is Joshua Pines. I'm a chief troublemaker and Luddite for a uh, company called Picture Shop. At ILM, over the years, we worked on Lucasfilm projects, tons of Spielberg projects, and Zemeckis. Terminator 2, Jurassic Park, Forrest Gump. You know, when I started there, I was, oh, you're the, you're the computer guy, you're the digital guy, you know, because everything was still being done traditionally. And by the time I left ILM, everything was being done with computer graphics and digital and stuff like that. But, you know, it's like, oh, you're the film guy, right? So my job never changed, but the world surrounding it sort of did. George decided that he was going to, you know, fire up the prequels. So before that, he decided to do the special editions of the original ones, episodes four, five, and six. And that was really interesting, especially the first one, because, you know, at that time, there were multiple optical houses that worked on them. They each worked in different ways. So just the, the librarian tasks of getting all the elements and cataloging them, and then we had to rescan them all in, you know, all the blue screens, all the model shots, all of that, you know, it was really quite spectacular. There was so much work with the prequels about matching the look. Right? There's a look to that universe that had to be maintained. So like, for example, even something as simple as like when they were first starting to do the, the lightsabers with computer graphics, and it was like, yeah, it just doesn't look, it doesn't have that feeling. And by that time, a lot of the optical lineup people and optical cameramen and stuff had transitioned over and done incredibly well. I mean, amazingly quickly, they became supervisors in the computer graphics department. So it was going back and going, well, let me show you how we did that optically. You know, these mats were pulled, this was done, this was blurred, this was a holdout mat, the color was, you know, for something as simple as the lightsaber, it wound up being this multi-step, you know, 12 different elements and stuff. And it was like, oh, well, let's just do that with the digital compositing tools. You know? And guess what, you know, out pops that lightsaber with the perfect glow and the holdout. There was so much of the old school stuff that the techniques got transferred over. We had to like add dinosaurs and do set extensions and add them into movies that were incredibly shot movies. These were A-list films, you know, A-list cinematographers and directors, art departments and stuff. And so there was like a master class at ILM about what really well shot film looks like. So even when it came to the point, oh, now we have an entire shot that we have to design, it's gonna to be totally synthetic, but it had to completely match in with the rest of the movie, including the lighting, the color palette, and stuff like that. So we got very, very good at emulating and recreating really, really well shot film and well designed sets.